Hey guys, it's Stephanie. Um, so just a few things that I want to talk about. Um, and maybe just one major one, really. I'll probably just do a really quick video and do this one about uh, why I felt fat my whole life, even when I was thin. Um, don't know. Hang on. Not sure if you guys saw this picture of me when I was um, 145 pounds. But um, that's me when I was super thin. And why I thought I was fat then, honestly, I can't explain exactly what I thought. I can only tell you why I had, wow, my hand looked huge when I came up to my face like this. Must be like... don't know, but it's a little creepy. My hand is not that large. See, from back here it looks fine. But up close it was like, wham! Okay, anyway. <laughs> Look like a giant. <clears throat> so, I'd say the reason that I thought I was fat when I was not fat and it's not her fault, so I'm just going to make that clear right from the start. Um, some of you, not many of you, but some of you know, um, I have a twin sister and she is very thin. Okay, this thing working out, my hair. Um, she's been a hundred, well, she's been 98 pounds pretty much most of my life. And when you're a twin, a lot of people expect that you look alike. Even if you're not identical, which we're not, we're fraternal twins. So, in high school and in elementary school, when we obviously we hung out, well, not obviously, but we hung out with the same friends. So, a lot of people thought we were just friends. They had no idea. We don't, we don't look anything alike. She's blonde, um, kind of greenish blue eyes, and... Um, very straight as a board hair. My hair has always been this color, you know, darker brown, um, curly, naturally, and light blue eyes. So, of course, we don't look anything alike. And then there she is, 98 pounds, and I'm over there at 135. So, of course, I look a lot bigger. And she's 5'2", I'm 5'4". So, the height difference was a difference, too. But nobody took that into account in high school. No one. Not even in elementary school. Um, I had a lot of people would come up to me and they would find out that we were sisters. And then I would be like, well, we're not just sisters, we're twins. And I would just try to shock them, you know, see what they'd say. And every, almost every single time, their response was, well, how come you're not thin like your sister? How come you're not thin like her? And I'm not mad at my sister. I, I didn't hold a grudge. There was times that I did and I blamed her for that and I feel so guilty about that because it wasn't her fault. She was just thin. She could eat whatever she wanted. She had a really quick metabolism. She still does. And, um, I don't know. It was just, to me, that was your fat. It wasn't that she's super thin and you're normal. It was she's thin and you're fat. And then, even when I was a hundred and, I want to say I got up to like 165 in high school, 170 maybe, and then I lost a lot of weight and I got back down to like 145, 135, which was great. But at 135, 145, I remember having a class with um, my sister and my friend Tiffany. And we walked into this class where we left our folders. The folders would stay there every day. And the time, the, the class before me had a guy in it um, 
I'm not going to mention his name because I don't know if he'll ever see this, but um, there was a guy who was friends with me throughout elementary school who I had a fat crush on. And at this time, I, I didn't I didn't have a crush on him. Obviously, I'd moved on. But I went to class. I pulled up my folder, and on the very front of my folder, in huge, like all caps, uh, permanent marker, black permanent marker, all over the front of my folder, it said "fat and ugly." I can't tell you the feeling that I felt when I saw that. It was like here I was thinking I was fat, and then this just made it a reality. And when you think that about yourself, and then somebody solidifies it, it's ten times worse, you know? Like, everything's just so much worse. And I'm sure we've all been through that, you know? Having gone through gastric bypass, we've been overweight, we've had to deal with people saying things. And then, you know, I do, I, I, I almost forgot about this, but, um... Probably, I'd say, sorry, I'd say 2003, I think, 2003. 